dear students now i am explaining problems for you on the topic distribution law so see towards the ppts for the further understanding of problems numerical problems a solid x is added to a mixture of benzene and water after shaking well and allowing to stand 10 ml of benzene layer was found to contain 0.13 g of x and 100 ml of water layer contained 0.22 g of x calculate the value of distribution coefficient what problem is giving information to us in this problem information is given as in the two immiscible liquids as like water and benzene benzene and water these are the two non miscible liquids which are in direct contact with each other and whenever solute x is added then what will happen this solute this solute x will distribute into the benzene as well as in water and what is the concentration of x in benzene and what is the concentration of x in water that is given and ask the for us the distribution coefficient kd concentration of x in benzene is 0.13 in the 10 ml and hence the concentration of x in benzene cb is equal to 0.13 in the 10 ml of benzene layer after solving it we will get the 0.013 g per liter then the concentration of x in the water layer will be 0.22 per 100 ml that is the per 100 ml after solving it we will get the 0.0022 g per ml and by using the equation concentration in benzene upon concentration of x in water is equal to concentration of x in b benzene is 0.013 g and concentration of x in water layer is 0.0022 g after solving we will get the answer 5.9 and hence the distribution coefficient in this case is 5.9 then we have to see the next problem problem when benzoic acid was shaken with a mixture of benzene and water at constant temperature the following results were obtained benzoic acid shaken with the mixture of benzene and water means the two non miscible solvent solvents here are the benzene and water and benzoic acid used here as a solute means in the problem it is told that benzoic acid is added and benzene and water is present here whenever benzoic acid is added to the benzene and water layer then following results were obtained concentration of acid in benzene and concentration of acid in water that is c2 and c1 c1 and c2 whenever the concentration of solute x in the benzene layer is 0.24 at that time the concentration of benzoic acid or solute 
is 0.015. Whenever the value of C1 in the benzene layer is 0.55, then the value of C2 is 0.022. Whenever the value of C1 in the benzene layer is 0.93, at that time the value of C2 is 0.229. Comment on the result. Calculation of C1 upon C2 in each case. Whether the there is a same constant after putting the C1 and C2 values in the distribution law that we have to say. In the first case, C1 is the this value and C2 is this value. By putting the value of C1 and C2, 0.24 upon 0.015 is giving the 14 result. Then for this pair C1 upon C2 is equal to 25. Then C1 upon C2 this value is 32. Means the constant value is 16 for first case, 25 for second case and 32 for third case. Means the value of K is not constant in this case. And hence, the benzoic acid does not exist in a single or molecular state in both the solvents. Then, we have to use the next formula that is the root of C1 upon C2 is equal to Kd. Take these values and under root. Root of 0 0.24 upon 0 0.015 this gives the value 4. Root of 0 0.55 upon 0 0.22 by putting the value of C1 and C2. For the next pair, the value is 5. And for the last pair, that is C1 upon C2, the, by keeping these values in the under root, the value is for K is 5.66. Means these are the values for the K are constant these values are approximately or almost constant and hence now the distribution coefficient is constant it suggests that the benzoic acid is associated into double molecules in the benzene layer means in this case from the these results it is proved that or it is shown that the benzoic in the benzoic acid benzoic acid in the benzene layer is in a double molecule form means a formation of dimer is taken place here then the next problem in the distribution of benzoic acid between water and benzene the following results were obtained in this case also there is a benzoic acid which is acting as a solute for the two non miscible liquids that is water and benzene after vigorous checking, the value of C1 in water and value of C2 in benzene is shown here. C1, whenever C1 is 1.50, then C2 is 24.20. Whenever the value of C1 is 1.95, at that time the value of C2 is 41.2. Whenever the value or C1 is 2.97 at that time the value of C2 is 97.0 assuming that benzoic acid is in a single molecular state in water show that it exists in dimer in benzene layer in this problem it is told that assume yourself the benzoic acid is in a single molecular state or a normal molecular state in the water then Prove yourself or decide yourself the benzoic acid is in a dimer state in the benzene layer. For that purpose, solution benzoic acid exists in normal molecular state in water and it is dimer in benzene. So the ratio C1 upon nth root of C2 is equal to KD should be constant. This can be shown as C1 in water, C2 is the value in benzene and this is the formula with which
we have to find out the constant. In the first case, whenever the value of C1 is 1.5, then the value of C2 is 24.20. By putting these values in the given formula, we are getting the result 0 0.305. In the second case, whenever the value of C1 is 1.95, C2 is 41.2, then by putting the values, result is 0 0.304. In the third case also, C1 is 2.97, C2 is 91.0. By putting these values of C1 and C2 in the given formula and by solving it, we will get the value or the answer for K that is 0 0.302. In this case, all the values of k is same or the constant and hence it is proved that the benzoic acid is in a dimer condition or as a double molecules in the benzene. Then the next problem, in the distribution of solute between water C1 and chloroform C2, the following results were obtained. These are the values for C1 and these are the values for C2. What is the molecular state of the solute in chloroform? That is the question. If the value of C1 and C2 is provided to you, then you have to find out the molecular state of chloroform. Molecular state of solute in chloroform. If the solute exists in a normal molecules in both the solvents, then the ratio C1 upon C2 must be K. And if the solute X ex exists as a double molecules in chloroform, then the ratio C1 upon root of C2 is equal to K. It should be constant. C1 in water, C2 in chloroform, C1 upon C2 is equal to K for the normal condition, C1 upon root of C2 is equal to K for the dimer condition or the double layer molecules of the solute that is the association in, in chloroform that is be given or shown by this formula. If C1 upon C2 is equal to K, is a constant value for the both the cases, then we can say that the given solute is in a normal state. If the this value comes constant, then we can say that the solute is present as a double molecules or the associated in the chloroform. The, in the first case, the value of C1 is 0. 163 value of C2 is 0 0.76 then put first of all in this formula C1 upon C2 is equal to K for the normal condition the answer is 0 0.212 then put this value of C1 and C2 for the second case the answer is 0 0.08 point 0 0.212 and 0 0.080 these are the values of K for the this formula is not constant and hence the solute is not in a normal condition in the chloroform. Then we have to see the results for the C1 upon root of C2 is equal to K. By putting the value of C1 and C2 in the given formula in this way, we get the value of K 0 0.1869. And for the second case, by putting the values of C1 and C2 in the given formula, the value is 0 0.1871. Means the 0 0.18, 0 0.18, that is the constant K is showing the same values or the values are constant. And hence, the ratio C1 upon nth root of C2 comes out to be constant. This proves that the solute exists in double molecules in chloroform, means the association is shown in the chloroform. In this way, these are the some problems 
which I have given for you. Thank you.